Okay, we have a 6703 here set up to do a 3 8 rivet nut. This is stainless steel, and we're going to be going into 3 16 inch material. Uh, so we're going to set up the tool first, and then we're going to install it into the material. Uh, the, the tool is air powered with 90 PSI, we're holding 90 PSI. And then we have the anvil, which is the black part, and the mandrill, which is the th threaded mail part. And the key is to have the riv nut uh, thread on as, so that the end of the rivet nut is uh, flush with the end of the mandrill and the head of the rivet nut is pressing securely against the anvil. So even without me threading this on, you can see that uh, that will be the case. So now I'm going to uh, thread it on. It has an automatic thread feature by me just starting a few threads and then pushing it on. And you can see that it's secure against the anvil and uh, flush with the end of the mandrel. And then uh, this is a set to pressure gun. So you use a Allen wrench to adjust the pressure. If you go clockwise, you'll increase the pressure and counterclockwise decreases the pressure. Uh, in this case, I'm going to just use uh, no clicks. It will be as far out as possible counterclockwise and uh, we're going to uh, achieve a successful upset uh, just like that. This uh, does not require much pressure from, from this tool. So I have it, uh, I have my application 3 16 inch material and it's perpendicular to my tool or 90 degrees and I'm going to hold the tool or trigger until it upsets the rivet nut and then we'll automatically de-thread the rivet nut. So it, the tool kind of spit, spit off the rivet nut and the rivet nut is uh, upset and uh, ready to receive a bolt. This is a 6703 upsetting a 3 ace rivet nut.